Hello Electroheads, Ailish here and today I'm talking EV batteries, specifically what happens when they die. I'm not ready to die. And how one day your old, tired, flat battery might even make you some money. What happens when we all die? Do you guys worry about that shit at night? Not long ago, we did a deep dive into how EV battery life has been holding up in the real world, which you can watch right here. But in TLDR form, we found that all those gloomy predictions about needing to chuck out your old battery pack and have a new one installed probably aren't going to be true for most of us. And tons of you reached out in the comments to share your real world experience with plenty of you reporting years of trouble free motoring and plenty of capacity left in the older EV battery packs, which is great. But as Echo and the Bunny Men so rightly told us, nothing lasts forever. And eventually, even if it takes a really long time and even if it happens after the car itself has literally fallen apart around itself like a clown car, every battery currently powering an electric car will one day die. I know, it's very sad. So what happens then? Do you chuck it in the nearest landfill? Do you don a balaclava and heave it over Elon Musk's garden fence? <laughs> Well, the landfill option doesn't seem very on brand for an industry that's supposed to have sustainability as one of its cornerstones. And with EV cells expected to explode in the next few years like a giant volcano stuffed with Kias and Nissan Leafs, that's a hell of a lot of old batteries we're gonna have to have on our hands when they do eventually conk out. So what are we gonna do with them all? What are you gonna do? The obvious answer is recycling, but at the moment there is still some way to go before it's practical and affordable to do so on a large scale. And we actually look at that right here in this video, so make sure to click the link and find out more. But in the meantime, there might be another solution. That's because even when an EV battery reaches the end of its useful life for powering a car, it's usually not really dead at all. As a guy called Hans Eric Mellin of the London-based Circular Energy Storage Research and Consulting Outfit explains, <coughs> A lithium ion battery actually never dies. It's just like you can take an alkaline battery out of your flashlight and put it into a remote control and it will still be good enough. Still works. In fact, lithium ion car and bus batteries can charge and discharge for at least seven to 10 years after being removed from its chassis. That's a ton of battery capacity out there that would simply be wasted if these old batteries were just tossed in the bin once their capacity dips below what is practical for their original use in EVs, which is usually once it drops under 70% of the range it had when new. So could we do Hans Eric's take the old battery out of the torch and use it in a TV remote thing, but with EV batteries? And by the way, I'm definitely doing this with my old torch batteries. Can EV batteries have a second life? Well, click the like button to find out more. Well done, great. Let's crack on. Yes is the answer. They very much can. And not only does it mean these old units can be useful for far longer than their original intended lifespan, a big tick on the sustainability front, it's possible that eventually it could create a secondary revenue stream within the EV world. If the old batteries prove so useful, they actually become a valuable commodity. It could even eventually help lower the cost of EVs altogether. Our mate Hans Eric reckons that by 2025, around three quarters of all spent EV batteries will have a second life. And some canny folks are even storing retired batteries in big warehouses because they think they'll be able to cash in once the market expands. So who exactly would want an old EV battery and what for? The world's biggest TV remote? Something like that? No, some clever people have already come up with some pretty cool ways of reusing them to squeeze out every little electron that they can. As you might expect, some of the car makers themselves are leading the <clears throat> charge on this one. <laughs> First up, while these old batteries might not be good enough for use in a car anymore, Audi have discovered they're more than good enough for other vehicles and are using lithium ion power packs from their old hybrid and e-tron models to replace the lead acid batteries in the forklift trucks at their Ingolstadt factory. Not only is it a great way to reuse the old batteries, but they're lighter than the ones they're replacing, making the trucks that bit more efficient. Damn it, that German efficiency, we'd love to see it. And Nissan are using old leaf batteries to power mobile machines in their factories and in their Rome Power Pack product, which can be used to provide power for camping trailers or at work sites. Volkswagen, meanwhile, are using their old batteries to help new EV owners by building them into portable electric car charging stations capable of charging up to four vehicles at one time. 
On a bigger scale, Mercedes are using almost 2,000 old battery packs to convert an old coal-fired plant in Germany into an energy storage facility, and BMW are doing the same with retired batteries from more than 100 of their old cars. Both plants will reduce the impact of peak power demand, which will help stabilize the local grids. A few years back, Renault partnered with a company called PowerVault to build washing machine sized power storage units built from old Zoe batteries intended for use in homes and businesses. They can calculate when it's cheapest to recharge them from the grid and store that power for later, which they say can bring electricity bills down by up to a third, which could become more and more attractive with bills creeping up like they are right now. Shut up and take my money. And these manufacturer led initiatives are just the tip of the iceberg because there's also a really cool intersection between sustainable technologies that are helping planet Earth here, the reusing of old EV batteries and renewable energy generation, particularly solar power. The power of the sun. If they don't need to lug around a car for people and a load of shopping, old EV batteries are ideal for storing solar electricity, which is exactly what they're doing in Sweden, where a company called Box of Energy has installed a bunch of silver cabinets about the size of a fridge in the basement of an apartment complex. Each one contains batteries originally used to power the Volvo electric buses on Gothenburg's Route 55, and now store energy generated by solar panels on the roof and run things like the elevators and lighting, as well as helping to provide power to the 132 apartments in the building. Retired Toyota Prius batteries are being used in a similar scheme in 7-Eleven convenience stores in Japan, where they collect solar energy, which is then used to power things like drinks fridges and hot dog grills. A hot dog. <laughs> the Japanese, are also using them to power solar paneled streetlights, while the East Japan Railway Company are using old leaf batteries to replace lead acid batteries used for emergency power supplies at level crossings, with the first one being trialled at the Otago crossing on the Joban line, which serves Minamisoma City in the Fukushima prefecture. In case any of the France's bourgeois aspirees want to visit. Goosebumps all over my body. <laughs> these lithium ion batteries can be charged in a third of the time it took the old lead ones and are far more more durable, lasting up to a decade compared to the three to seven year life for lead, and they need less maintenance. Those trusty old leaf batteries are also being used to store solar energy in California and at an energy storage facility in Melilla, Spain, which is isolated from the Spanish national grid. In fact, remote spots not connected to a main grid are ideal for this kind of reuse, like the Portuguese island of Porto Santo, just north of Madeira, where locally generated renewable solar and wind energy is stored in old Renault batteries, which in turn powers homes and businesses, as well as the energy for EV charging points, which is nice from an EV circle of life point of view. And the island of Pampas in the Netherlands has a really similar setup. But old EV batteries aren't just used on land. If you go down to Plymouth, you can catch a fully electric ferry that's powered by repurposed batteries from, you guessed it, the Nissan Leaf. Of course. The boffins behind that one are now also working on another ferry and a commercial fishing boat. Believe it or not, EV batteries are also getting a second life in top flight professional football. The 55,000 seater Amsterdam Arena, home to many times Dutch champions and European Cup winners Ajax, has 280 retired Leaf batteries installed in the basement. They provide four megawatts of power to the stadium and act as the power backup in the event of a mains outage, replacing an old diesel generator system. Not only that, they can also provide power to the surrounding neighborhood if needed. Now that is very, very cool. But before you run out to your garage with a screwdriver and a hammer, it's not as simple as unbolting a battery from a car and plugging it into the nearest solar panel. A certain amount of modification is required for all these reuses and many of these schemes are experimental at this stage. But the variety of ways in which EV power packs are already being reused all over the world shows just how exciting the possibilities are. And just think, if you own an EV, the battery you're using right now could one day end up in a factory, a boat, or powering a football stadium. And with the demand for renewable energy only set to grow, it could be that in the not too distant future, thousands, if not millions of ex-car batteries could spend their retirement happily soaking up the sun at solar farms. Have you seen XEV batteries being reused anywhere I haven't mentioned, or are you even involved with a project that's working on it right now? I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go so you can keep up with all the latest news and reviews with EVs, and I will see you very soon. Bye.